Ladies and gentlemen, I got a simple question. What on earth is Edu cooking? What on earth is Edu cooking? Because at this moment in time, potentially, Eddie and Ketia might not be headed to Marseille as that deal could potentially fall through. Not looking so good. Also, we're linked to Simon Udingra. Has high potential. Currently plays for Brighton. But we had... We had a player who left Arsenal's academy and went to Brighton. If you guys know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about uh, Corey Jewsbury. He left Arsenal to go to Brighton. And now we're looking to go, go, go get the guy that Brighton... I don't know. It just don't make sense. Also, we're also linked to Kingsley Coleman. Who would take Kingsley Coleman at Arsenal? Let me know. Let's get into it. We got a lot to talk about. Quick little video. I need to tell it to you guys quickly. So let's get into it. First things first, please do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And we finally, finally got the, the third kit. And it doesn't look like that. So we're going to talk about it. But before we go any further, let's get the show started. Bye. Yes, 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 people, what's going on? So before we go any further, do me a favor. Please do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we're going to talk about Arsenal's pursuit in Kingsley Coleman. But before we do that, we just need to also speak about a little thing that dropped uh, today. Arsenal dropped the wonderful, the beautiful, the amazing kits. Uh, this is the third goalkeeper kit, which I definitely will be purchasing. This is amazing, simple, black chic with the white lines i am definitely going to be copying a goalkeeper kit this year also this is the beautiful third kit we're not going to play it much. we're not going to play in it much because we have a black away kit uh meaning that we won't have too many kits that clash with the black kit but this kit is beautiful and i do give it a 10 out of 10 but let me know what do you guys rate this kit out of 10 personally for me i think it's a beautiful kit some people don't like it uh but I like it. I like the vibrant colors and you really can't go wrong with the third kit. You just have to make sure it's a little bit different from everybody else's. Um, as for the goalkeeper kit, this is a simple t-shirt you can wear anywhere. So I'm definitely going to get that. And you might be seeing that on in coming videos very soon. But Adidas's whole campaign around this kit was very impressive. If I show you guys Adidas's whole campaign, they actually had a competition where it was like you had all the goalkeepers of back in the day. You, I mean, all the legends from other clubs. You had Real Madrid, Arsenal, Bayern, Manchester United, Juventus. And I think all these kits look wonderful. Personally, for me, the Juventus one is the best one. But enough about kits. Let's get straight into why you guys are here. You guys are here for transfer news. You guys are here for news about players leaving the club, players going places. And who's leaving? Well, Arsenal have sold somebody. It's not Eddie Nketia. We sold Arsenal Academy player... Brooke Norton Cuffey, who is a right back for 2 million euros to Genoa. He will be headed to Genoa. His medical is booked and he'll be leaving very, very soon. So this deal is done. And yes, he is officially announced that Brooke Norton Cuffey will be leaving. We do have so many players in his position, so it's understandable. It could actually be three. Uh, the deal could actually be up to 3.5 with a sell-on clause if you look at the, the, the additional parts of the deal. But Really good, really good. Uh, what's this? Bakayo Saka has been nominated PFA Young Player of the Year vote for 2024. Hmm. Probably going to go to Cole Palmer, but we'll see if Bakayo Saka gets it. Also, we've already spoken about the, that. We've already spoken about that. Oh, where did I go? Next, Kingsley Coleman. Who, Kingsley Coleman to Arsenal? Who says no to Kingsley Coleman? Let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about Kingsley Coleman to Arsenal. The reason why I'm talking about Kingsley Coleman, the 28-year-old French winger, is now planning on leaving 
Bayern Munich and Arsenal seem to be the destination he could be editing up at. Now, the rumor has it that Arsenal are looking to plot a shock move for Bayern winger Kingsley Coleman on a season-long loan, as reported by Football Insider. Sources are saying that Coleman is keen on a move this summer and would seek assurances and playing time if he were to join Arsenal. Now, I don't know if he's going to get assurances on playing time. I don't know if he's going to get guaranteed playing time at all. But one thing I do know is Kingsley Coleman has a pretty bad injury history, at least from my last recognition of his injury record. Now, let me just show you guys his injury record because it is quite bad. If there's anything that I'm worried about, it would be his injury record. Thank you, Bismillah. Um, so, yeah, if I just show you guys this, that is eight. Eight games missed, one game missed, nine games missed, two games missed, one game missed. That's all in one year. So how many games did he even play if he missed those many games? He missed 21 games in 2023-2024 season. That is shocking, if you ask me. I, I, I would stay clear of a player who's missed that many games, uh, uh, let alone his wages. So I do have concerns over it. But I think as a player, he's a quality player, and he could definitely add something to this Arsenal team. We do need more wing depth. And if he was to join Arsenal, he definitely, definitely, definitely would benefit us uh, as another option that can play on both wings and would be a massive, massive, massive help for Arsenal. Now, there is also major news about the Eddie and Ketia deal. Marseille do not want to match Arsenal's 30 million euro package that they're asking for for Eddie and Ketia. And it could be a situation where they now might move away from Eddie and Ketia's deal completely. You might not get Eddie and Ketia leaving. Eddie and Ketia might not even go uh, leave uh, to go to Marseille anymore as they are not willing to match that pay package. And there is now a situation where. Uh, Le uh, Lens are looking for a 31 million plus eight, 15 million pay package for Weya, where Arsenal could. Uh, this is a deal that Arsenal could accept, but it is crazy. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens because it looks like Marseille are closing in on the Weya deal and they do not want to match our, any Nketiah's 30 million. This could be a situation where they now end up signing this guy instead of getting Eddie and Ketia, which will negatively affect Arsenal's op opportunity to sign players in the transfer window. This is this is quite annoying because now we're going to probably be stuck with Eddie and Ketia and they're going to end up getting way off. Honestly. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a disaster. Eddie and Ketia is going to be staying and I'm going to have to go sort out my little boys crying. But I'll speak to you guys in, this, uh, in my next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And yes, just let me know. Would you take Kingsley Coleman? What do we do with Eddie and Ketia now? And is Simon or Dingra even an option for you guys? Let me know. I'm out of here, people. Catch you guys in the next one. And if you want to find out more about the Simon or Dingra thing, check out the previous video that I did. All the information is there. I'm out, people. Peace.